Can we talk about what films you're looking forward to? Um, I'll go first. Um, the, I think the two films that I'm really excited for, one of them is Candyman, uh, director Nia DaCosta. And then the second one is Saint Maud, which is a religious film. And so those two, I'm really excited. I, I recently watched Candyman one and two, super scary. Like I don't, like something about the way that they made the story is rooted in realism as well as just like so scary. Like there's just so many layers of emotions that go that goes on. And so I'm really excited how they're going to remake it, especially for modern day and revamp it, especially from a female director. And Saint Maud is also directed by a female director. And I actually saw it last year at AFI Fest. Uh, and it got picked up by A24. I think they've been really talking about when to release it again and again. But it's just, it's one film that I think is one of the best films of this year, if it comes out this year. Well, I'm right there with you with Candyman. I was so excited to hear that it was, you know, going to be remade and everything like that. And I love the fact that it is a woman directing it. So I'm just really curious to see, um, you know, what it's going to be like. I'm also looking forward to Halloween Kills. I I know I don't know if you heard it just they just posted about it like earlier today. Just basically, um, it was supposed to come out this October, but then they're moving it till next year. And honestly, as I'm disappointed, but it's like, you understand, like at this point, like it's, it's necessary. Is Jamie Lee Curtis going to be in it? Yes. Oh my God. I got to watch the last Halloween. Like that just think, came out. Yeah, I think you could, you could check it out. I, I liked it. I thought it was really good. You know, it was like a nice, like, it just fits so well with the series, you know? And they really, like, I love the fact that with Jamie Lee Curtis's character, you know, they kind of focus on her, like what happens to the person after being the victim for so long? Yes. Scream four maybe, or three, they kind of tackle uh, that premise. Yeah. And it's like, in a way you understand, you know, like, but I really enjoyed that one. So I'm really looking forward to that, regardless of when they decide to let it, you know, release the movie. Um, the end of this month, I think like July 24th, there's this other movie called Amulet. And I thought that it looked pretty cool. Amulet? Oh, what is it about? So I actually have the synopsis here. So terror strikes when a former soldier takes a job to help a young woman and her housebound mother. When you see the poster, it kind of looks like it is going to be kind of like a religious type of movie, which you know, like I, I hate those, but I love them. You know that I can't get away. So I thought that it looked really cool and really interesting. Um, and then I did hear about the, you know, St. Maud, which that looks good to me. Like, I'm curious to see, but I haven't always had like the greatest luck sometimes with A24 movies. Mm. For me, it's been like a hit or a miss. Like sometimes it's just like, oh my gosh, this is so great. And then other times it's just like, okay, well maybe I'm, you know, I'm not the audience for this mm -hmm. one, you know? But yeah, those are the ones that I can think of. Oh, and then I know um, even with um, Into the, you ever watch the show on Hulu called um, Into the Dark? Kind of like a series um, by Blumhouse where like every month they'll have like, um, like a new story, like, so for Valentine's Day, they had like a Valentine's theme one. They had a St. Patrick's theme one. And sometimes some of them are just silly, but sometimes they have really great episodes. So they have like a new one coming out this month. It'll be later on, maybe uh, the end of the month, if not sometimes next week, the 17th, 18th, um, where basically it's called The Occupant. So they're like in, you know, movie format. So mm. they're really fun. I'm okay. I got Hulu now. So I'm excited to watch some stuff. Yes. Uh, horror, love and hate relationship. I just, uh, it's, it's, there's so much. This, this past year, The Invisible Man was probably the last horror film I watched yeah. that I was like, oh, oh my God, it was really well done. I'm yes. bravo. Yeah. I agree. I really enjoyed that one as well. Okay. Well, thanks for your suggestion. Thank I will look you. out for those. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>